In this video, I'm going to be spending max candy on the Halloween eggs in Arm Wrestle Simulator. So yeah, inside the brand new Halloween world, they went ahead and added a bunch of brand new eggs. The best one being this cauldron egg right here with a pretty rare chance to get some of these pets right here. Yeah, currently I'm sitting at 20 million candy. I'm going to be spending all of it in this video to see if I can get something from the cauldron egg. So yeah, make sure you guys are watching the entire video so you guys can see everything. So yeah, let's get into it right now. So before I start doing that, I did actually see a lucky block and side of this world with world six really quick let me go ahead and break it really fast and yeah i've been grinding for like around an hour and i've gotten like a hundred sx it's maybe been a little bit longer than an hour but yeah with this thanks to all these pumpkin pets that i've gotten recently my team has been getting extremely overpowered and also if i go ahead and look through all these real quick one of these should have been a best friend seven which is right here as you can see i actually got a best friend seven finally but if i got best friend eight that'd be pretty helpful but yeah we got nothing from that lucky block unfortunately let's go ahead and go back but yeah my team is literally so overpowered now and i'm able to get literally so much strength so easily but yeah i guess i might as well before i go ahead and open up these eggs i do have a couple of lucky pets i think yeah i have a lucky four pet right here i think i have a couple of them definitely not enough for a whole team but i do have enough where i can maybe have a little bit of an impact all right actually i own a lot more lucky pets than i thought i did i must have this must be all from the season pass and i didn't even realize i literally have so many more than i thought so yeah i believe i went ahead and equipped all of them i think i'm sitting at 29 lucky pets so actually way more than i had before so yeah let's go ahead and go over to this cauldron egg and i guess we can go ahead and auto open it i'm, I'm not sure if i'm gonna spend all 20 million but it's gonna take me a little bit i think to spend all 20 mil but yeah if we can get the wicked wizard or the haunted pumpkin that'd be pretty crazy and yeah actually before i do that let me go ahead and stop real quick is there actually a haunted pumpkin in here okay there isn't i want to continue to buy the haunted pumpkins because i want to buy as many as i can before the event ends and yeah like i mentioned i literally have so many in my inventory and yeah i also have all three of the egg luck passes i have everything inside of the super reapers shop and have like 30 around 30 or so or 29 lucky pets so my luck is pretty much maxed out of what i can do so let's go ahead and open up all these eggs and uh, hopefully we can get something good so yeah here we go and uh, wish me luck <laughs> All right, we are back after opening up a decent amount of eggs. I'm currently sitting at 8.3 million candy, so not bad. I think I'm going to save the rest just in case another haunted pumpkin comes into the demon market so I can go ahead and purchase it later. But yeah, let's go and check our inventory and see if we got anything of use with all these pets. And okay, I think we got a w Wicked Wizard Owl right here. Not bad. I'm surprised we at least got lucky to at least get that, so I guess not terrible. I think that's the only thing I got. I don't see any haunted pumpkins or anything anywhere, but unfortunately, it did, does have Best Friend 5. It could have had the chance to have best friend six or seven, but that was around a 10% chance. So I guess I guess I wasn't super lucky, unfortunately. But yeah, it does have like what is this? 150,000? 1.5 million. It's actually not bad. It has 1.5 million at the most basic stats. It's not a void or huge or Goliath or anything. So yeah, if it was maxed out, it would definitely be pretty strong, but nowhere near as strong as the haunted pumpkin. But yeah, I guess I might as well go ahead and lock it through. It isn't really the ton I can go ahead and do with the pet, unfortunately. But yeah, I've been grinding this update a decent amount since i went ahead and released if we go and open up the free ugc as you can see i have gained 90 million candy in the last like six days i think or five days so yeah i've gotten a lot of candy since this last update and yeah i'm actually i have so much that was pretty much how i was able to purchase all these haunted pumpkins from the shop until they went ahead and nerfed it because before they nerfed it you were able to buy as many as you wanted inside the shop and it was extremely overpowered and helpful but they went ahead and nerfed it so you can not only purchase it once a day which is kind of sad but yeah i still guess i took somewhat advantage 
advantage of it because I did get a decent amount before they went ahead and went away. But yeah, it's probably going to be the last time I go ahead and open up these emerald keys and diamond keys because inside of the next update, we're going to be getting a brand new arm crate. I'll go ahead and show you some of the leaks in a second, but first let me go ahead and open up all these emerald keys and diamond keys and see if we can get anything good for the last time. We also do have all of the lucky pets enabled while opening up all these arms, so maybe that'll give us some extra luck. I have no clue though. And so far, we've gotten literally nothing, which is pretty unfortunate. Let me go ahead and keep deleting it, opening up the rest of these keys. And yeah, there go all the emerald keys. I have no clue how many we had to start. I think it was over a thousand. I'm not completely sure though. But yeah, we do have at least are getting a lot of buff tigers. I can go ahead and make those into golden. All right, we're down to our last 54 diamond keys and there we go there's all of them gone and we got a lot of buff tigers from this i guess i'll take it so yeah, let me go ahead and go over to the golden machine and make all these into gold and see how many more we have all right there we go and we are now sitting at one two three four five six seven eight nine golden arms so yeah it's actually pretty insane i've gotten this many and i don't even need them so i'll probably end up giving them out very soon sometimes also i'll randomly be inside of a public server so maybe if i'm inside of a public server here and there i'll probably give out some of these arms to some of you guys that are fans inside of the servers but let me go ahead and show you guys some of the leaks we do currently have before i end off the video all right here we are inside the discord server and we don't really have that much but if, as you can see for this first image right here we have the platinum crate and the platinum key as well as all the arms you can go ahead and receive inside of the crate and as you can see the best arm is a 1.1 thousand percent which is actually better than the diamond the arm inside the diamond crate and it's the exact same chance to get so i'm definitely going to be trying to get this buff platinum inside it maybe in a golden or something that'll be pretty crazy see so yeah, we are going to be receiving a brand new arm crate inside this inside this next update was definitely going to be pretty nice and very helpful but yeah if you guys haven't really noticed yet i actually have been grinding and did get this thing in golden and crystal like i did mention in the past videos so yeah i do have the 0.01 inside of the diamond crate and golden so hopefully inside the platinum crate whenever that does release i'll be able to do the same i also have no clue of what the key drop chance for the platinum crate is going to be but it's probably going to be a little bit rarer than the diamond crate in world 6 if this is 0.5 maybe it'll be like 0.25 or something it might still be pretty rare to get but yeah, i guess we're gonna have to just go ahead and wait and uh, figure that out but if you guys were curious i'm getting i think around like 140 qa per lift with the hand strength i'm pretty sure it's somewhere around 140 qa which is actually pretty insane and i'm gonna definitely gonna continue to grind and hopefully i'll be able to all to get all the way up to one sp before the next update that'll be pretty crazy but yeah i think also inside the next update we should also be receiving the trading plaza or at least very soon i think it's going to be inside the next update though i'm pretty sure because the update that was canceled last saturday was supposed to be the trading plaza update and it did get canceled so it should hopefully be this weekend and then i was hearing the weekend after that we're going to be getting world 7 in the game so yeah it's definitely going to be pretty crazy and also i just realized i'm curious to see how many times i defeated this boss inside of world 6 i defeated him 223,000 times so yeah it's actually pretty insane how many times i, I have defeated him and it must have taken a very long time for me to do that and also in the process of doing that i have acquired almost 40,000 of the crystallized eggs which is pretty insane but honestly i don't even think it's even worth hatching them because his pets aren't even very good even if i was lucky enough to get the crystal dragon i don't even think it would even help me that much unless i could literally get the 0.01 percent random enchant which is uh, basically impossible to get and very very rare so yeah i think i'm just gonna hold on to the eggs and just collect them i, I don't really know why i'm gonna collect them but i can't really do anything with them if i wanted to open them up i wish i could maybe like trade the eggs i think if you were able to like, trade eggs or something trade event eggs that would definitely be pretty cool i would definitely give a lot of them out for you to you guys because it would definitely help you guys out if you guys could get them but yeah, at least for me there isn't really that much i can do with these eggs unfortunately although this quest currently inside of the game is actually hatched 750 event eggs but the things you get aren't really that worth it to me but if you guys were not very good at the game this actually could be very beneficial to you guys like for me it's not very helpful because if we go ahead and go over to the blueprints and go to the tickets as you can see i currently have over 18,000 tickets so 85 tickets won't really help me out that much as well as like one diamond key and the two times winds boost won't really help me out but it could be beneficial to some of you guys that could need it but yeah that pretty much is everything for the video make sure you guys subscribe to the channel because we're on the road to 100k subs and i really appreciate if you guys subscribe and yeah thank you boys for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one